Mass M is placed on a horizontal frictionless surface and attached to a spring with spring constant K. The mass is pulled back a distance X and released to oscillate horizontally. What is the kinetic energy and potential energy of the mass at a displacement halfway between the equilibrium position and maximum displacement? All right, well, let's draw a picture first of what our situation is going to look like. Horizontal spring block oscillator. Let's color that in there. We'll put our mass over here, M. Some spring with spring constant K. We'll start this at some displacement zero. Here's our X, and it's somewhere in there we're going to have a point A. And what we know is that the maximum energy is one half KX squared. So that the uh, potential energy due to the spring at A is going to be one half times K. Well, A is halfway between these two, so that's going to be at X over two squared. So that'll be one half K times X squared over four, or one eighth KX squared, which is one fourth times one half KX squared. Why did I write it that way? Well, one half kx squared is our maximum spring potential energy. So this then says that ua must equal one fourth of u max. So at a, it's got one fourth of its maximum energy. Where's that other three fourths of the energy? That's got to be kinetic energy at a. So that must be three fourths of the maximum spring potential energy. Notice here that halfway between the two, the spring potential energy and the kinetic energy are not the same. They're not equal. You've got to go through the steps to go solve for points in between those two. Don't take shortcuts. Hopefully this is a good start for simple harmonic motion. Thank you so much for your time and for, walking, for watching Educator.com. Make it a great day, everyone.